I'm just kidding. All right. What is going on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? As you can tell with the tone of my voice, this is not a video I wanted to make this year. Wait, should I stop smiling? Yeah, you should stop smiling. You should be equally as sad as I am with this event because you love this I'm, event. I'm going to put my I'm head sorry, thanks for making me laugh before. Oh, God. Um, the, now you look like a fucking creeper. <laughs> sorry. This video is off to a great start. Well, look, you can you cannot expect anything less from us. We are a bunch of hooligans who've been blessed with this opportunity to talk about haunts and scary movies and many other things and horror or yeah. horror let me say that so um but uh we are here today with a uh, rob and tony and myself to discuss the, the upsetting news yeah uh today the news we were all waiting for but we didn't want to accept uh, much like Horror Nights, much like Dark Harbor. Um, not Scary Farm canceled its event for 2020. Um, I think for all three of us, I can speak on behalf of all of us, that this one actually probably hit a lot harder than the other events. Um, you know, when when, we, when the news broke out, I sent it to the guys, and uh, I sent it to the Booze Brothers, and uh, everyone was just kind of talking about it. Uh, everybody was expecting this one to come. But uh, we just didn't want to accept it. Um, it's been it's been a rough year this year uh, with the whole pandemic going on, um, and that's caused the closure of a lot of events, a lot of things um, that us the haunt community really like. Um, we didn't have no Monster Palooza this year. We didn't have no Midsummer Scream this year. We didn't have no Spook Show this year. Um, pretty much all the major haunts for. Uh, mid-September, October, and, and very early November are getting canceled uh, little by little. Um, and Midsummer Scream's live stream actually brought us a lot of hope to what's to come this Halloween season as far as the home haunts go and, and um, you know, 13th floor. So th that was really good news. But today's news just really kind of hit me in the face, man. It, it was a really sad one, mainly because I know me and Sammy have a ton of memories at this haunt. Um, if you guys don't know... Uh, we labeled ourselves as the bench warmers last year because we would sit on our bench in ghost town and, and just kind of watch everyone work and, and have a good time and, and scare. And we found joy out of that. We really did. Um, it, it was something that me and Sammy would go to the park every weekend to just kind of relax after a long week of work and just enjoy ourselves, whether it be just, yeah. just sipping on some drinks, um, eating a funnel cake, you know, getting some food, whatever it may be, uh, listening to, like, we had a hype playlist just going into the event uh, every time we'd go. And it was something that me and Sammy honestly would look forward to every weekend. I can speak on both me and Sammy for that one because um, th there was nights where we just never wanted to leave. Uh, yeah. when, and when the event came to an end, we didn't never want it, to, wanted it to end because we knew our weekends would go back to being normal weekends again. Um, yeah. But and, before you continue on, let's get Rob's opinions here as well because I know – He's got in the long outstanding tradition right. that Rob, he's talked about. Rob has told us that he's been going every year around the time of his birthday. So, Rob, you want to speak a little bit about that? Yeah, um, my birthday is October 17th. So, uh, and kind of a tradition that me and my wife had started um, when we started dating was uh, that was kind of like our our uh, tradition for my birthday is we'd go to Not Scary Farm every year. Either, you know, the closest, whatever weekend was closest to my birthday, that's when we would go. And for me... Um, I do have a lot of, uh, I guess, emotional memories. I'm not, I'm not going to cry. I promise I'm not going to cry. Um, I do have a lot of emotional memories uh, with Not Scary Farm just because that's where, like, you know, I, I, me and my wife just bonded more and more and more. And, it, you know, just kind of over a whole span of, like, a relationship, uh, Not Scary Farm was always included in, in uh, my birthday and you know we even just planning like oh well, when are you going to take off next year for this day well what's the best just saving up and and you know going to the buffet every year and just just all that stuff and then that's where I got to meet you guys so that's you know also you know that's like uh, the sprinkles on top of the ice cream right there and you know it just it it does it does knowing that uh, this year it's not going that's you know I'm going to have to do something else for my birthday and I, I'll have fun regardless, but this was just something that became a tradition. And, um, you know, 
I just kind of expected it. it makes you appreciate it a, um, a lot more because I kind of just expected it. And, you know, it's it's not there this year. Um, and so, you know, it's just it, – it's it's a rough one. It's a rough one. Right. Definitely. I, I do agree. And I think what sucks ultimately more is it's one of the few years that your birthday would be landing on the on – <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, on a, on, a, uh, on a Saturday, yep. Yeah, so, I mean, I, ideally, you could have either done the Friday to be celebrating your birthday at midnight at Knott's or <laughs> to spend your here's, birthday here's, night at Knott's. Here's the thing. If you, if you ask my I don't agree with her, but if you ask my wife, uh, pretty much from, like, mid-September all the way to, like, the first weekend of November, I celebrated my birthday somehow with a haunt, yeah. Uh, yeah. wherever it may be. So, but, yeah, I know yeah. it's... It's it's a rough one. It's a rough one. We're all, we're all, I know it's rough for all of us. Yeah. What sucks for what sucks for me? Well, which is really funny was actually I was going to be going to Knott's for your birthday weekend. That yeah. was the weekend I was planning to come out to California to to hit the haunt. So so we can now that I know that was birthday weekend, that also breaks my heart. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, it's been. So it makes the sad is even more sad. Yeah. <laughs> now so it, bring everyone down. It, it's just been a very, a very tough rest of the day since I found out about the news. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, not you know, hats to cap to the event, much like other major haunts, because of the whole social distancing and the whole CDC guidelines with with what's going on in the world. Um, and uh, honestly, uh, you know, as sad as I am, this is the right thing to do right now. Um, you know, it, it's really just on a matter of making sure everyone's safe, making sure everyone is healthy and uh, can bring their A game for 2021. So I, I am not at all mad about them canceling the event, not one bit, because what they did was a very hard thing to do for them um, because they know the fan base of Not Scary Farm is huge. It's been going for nearly 50 years. Um, and... Um, they, they know that they have a big reputation to live up to every year. So they'd rather cancel this year's event and give you, you know, you know, rather than probably trying to do it this year and give you very little than, you know, save it for next year and bring it, give it their all, especially with two brand new mazes supposedly supposed to be coming this year. Um, I know that was something that everyone's excited for, especially because it's something new at knots, um, uh, you know, Last year's event was great with Origins and Waxworks and, of course, all the other mazes, Paranormal, The Depths, Dark Entities, Special Ops, um, Shadowlands, Dark Ride, Pumpkin Eater, all the scare zones, of course. You got Forsaken Lake, Ghost Town, um, Carnival, and The Hollow. And then, of course, you know, me and Sammy had a lot of memories watching Puppet Up, um, which we, we were really hoping come, comes back, you know, when they come. There's Sammy doing his human puppet. Sammy loves... <laughs> Pup it up. Uh, we both did. Naked puppets. Naked puppets. Um, so, you know, it, it really just was a hit in the gut today. It really was. Um, and I and I've seen, I've seen everyone in the haunt community talk about this and being equally as sad as we are. Um, even to people who've gone to the event uh, for the first time ever, are probably sad about this because they maybe had a great time last year and they wanted to do it again this year. But, you know, it, it, it it's, I, I feel like. Bigger and better things will come next year. Um, yeah. This yeah, isn't. So, I mean, this isn't goodbye I, I want, forever. I want, but yeah, I definitely want to end it on. I was definitely want to get to a positive note, though. I mean, as much as like it is depressing and really sad. Um, I mean, I have some really good thoughts on what they could do alternatively and not call it not scary farm. Um, this whole taste of thing is really doing well for the park. Right. Um, with them expanding to a lot more of the park. Including Boardwalk and just the Village, and so the so the taste of it is they expand. Um, I would really hope they do a taste of Halloween, really capitalize on the season. Um, just because once again these events are being canceled doesn't mean Halloween's canceled. Right. And I just had this really good thought while we were sitting here: of what if they're not using Camp Snoopy because they plan to do something in Camp Snoopy for the Halloween season? Um, cause I, I know that they do a spooky thing during the day normally. So, you know, we may expect something like that over the weekends, um, to celebrate Halloween, especially with like the little kids or what would be really epic is I know previously they did something really cool in Camp Snoopy to catch you my drift here. Uh, they may have done this. It was something called special ops 
and and Cam Snoopy. And you can socially distance in that. And you don't have to have monsters come right up close to people. You can still have them a distance away. So what if they were not opening Cam Snoopy for the taste of nods because we were looking to find something there? And that would be amazing if they did something with Special Ops because they have the technology. They have the ability to socially distance people and socially distance the monsters. So I'd be really sick if they did something there. Um, Because I I think it would be a waste if Nods didn't capitalize on Halloween, whether to do a day event for, like, kids during the, you know, day or, you know, even for those the horse community to maybe do something like through Camp Snoopy where you can socially distance, don't have to have monsters up close. Um, and you're keeping them in that part of the park. You know what I mean? They can go through it all the way. And then you can have them funnel them back through um, Fiesta. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really sick. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, those are some positives I think we could draw out. I mean, yeah, it's, and, as well as a bigger 2021. I think that's what everyone's promising. Um, and so I think this we're all going to have to continue to hold hope for. Yeah, especially yeah. since, uh, you know, if you're going to do an event, you know, like that with like a do a taste of and then maybe you pay extra to do the special ops or something, $5 more, $10 more, you know, whatever whatever it may be. I mean, you can also obviously focus more employees on, uh, you know, disinfecting guns as people go through and, and have a batch of guns ready where by the time the next crew comes up and then disinfecting the other ones while the next crew is getting ready. So it, it could work out if they did something like that. Uh, fingers crossed, but... Uh, this is all just speculation on our end, so we don't know anything. We're, we're hoping for the very least a Taste of Halloween event over at Knott's Scary Farm. Or Knott's Berry Farm, should I say. Uh, and, <laughs> it's, it's Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. <laughs> we're uh, not getting Knott's Berry Farm. It's because the only the only time of the year I go is during Scary Farm, so it's not Scary Farm to me year-round. Um, yeah. But nonetheless, it, it's been a very uh, tough um, evening for all of us. Uh, it's still just kind of a shocker to see all these big haunts going down one by one. Um, and, and I know, um, you know, on our end, we're going to do the best we can to still give you guys the greatest Halloween experience that we can on our channel, whether it be live streams, going to home haunts. Uh, there's talks that maybe Fright Fest might still be trying to do something. 13th floor guaranteed that they're still going to be doing something regardless. They got plans A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z pretty much planned out. So... Regardless, 13th Floor wants to do something. Um, Bloodshed Brothers uh, podcast, you know, that just came out today as of, well, as of this recording, it hasn't, but as you're watching this, it just came out today. They have a plan to, to keep their haunt going, you know, so this year is definitely the year of the home haunts, and I think that this is going to be a big year for them to really show what they can bring to the table as far as, you know, this is what we got. You know, a lot of the big home haunters out there are still going to be doing some walkthrough uh, yard displays which is really cool um so definitely expect us to go check a lot of these out because we still want to get you guys the best halloween experience ever and try to give you that halloween vibe that we try to give you every year during regular haunt season um and i'm gonna announce this here next week on the channel next saturday we are doing a birthday bash for my 22nd birthday uh, a live stream if you will at seven o'clock p.m uh, pacific standard time and the way I want to celebrate my birthday is uh, looking back at some past uh, not scary farm mazes. So me and the me and the guys will reminisce on the past and uh, what we enjoyed at not scary farm, and just maybe chat with you guys, you know, just to see what you guys missed. Um, obviously, we'll be celebrating my 22nd birthday, so that's a big one. So there'll probably be some alcohol on the on the live stream, <laughs> at least on my end, there will be. So. Uh, but nonetheless, I, 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 that's what I want to do for my 22nd birthday is I want to celebrate, um, reminiscing on some old knots videos, whether it be scare zones, um, mazes, walkthroughs, uh, whatever uh, it is. A special video I sent you today? Special video that Sammy sent me today that, uh, mm-hmm. I won't say cause we're going to show that definitely. Uh, and it's a, it's a funny one and I think you guys will all enjoy it. But, uh, that's what I want to do for my 22nd birthday is, is hang out with my brothers, um, watch old knots stuff and drink and chat with the family you the family the madhouse as you will all the fans yeah. all you guys you guys are all all our family you're our extended horror family that we all uh love and and make this content for you guys so yeah guys next saturday 7 p.m august 15th 
uh, Pacific Standard Time. We are going to be doing a live stream for my 22nd birthday, looking back at old knot stuff. It is going to be good. I know we got, I think about four of the five members are going to be here. I'm still getting confirmation in one of them, but uh, it should be really fun. Uh, and then that weekend, uh, during that live stream, we're going to announce another live stream that will happen the following weekend, um, which is another exciting milestone. So stay tuned, guys. We have a lot planned for you. Trust me, we're going to get through this haunt season. We're going to give you guys something regardless, whether it be live streams, whether it be special guests on podcasts, whether it be home haunts. Um, if Fright Fest is open, we'll hit Fright Fest. If, if 13th floor decides to do something, we will be there to cover it. Um, drive through haunts. I heard a lot of those are going to be happening this year. We're going to try to cover those as well. Um, and even if we have to do filming locations for horror movies, you guys are going to get something Halloween themed on this channel, like we do year round, especially special on October. So before I let you guys go, I know I've been kind of uh, talking throughout the whole video. I want to let you guys have a final word um, on what you guys pretty much think. I don't know. The floor is yours, Rob. Uh, well, I mean, you pretty much said it all, but I, I just want to say, yeah, it, I feel like uh, this year, definitely, uh, you know, the year of the home haunt, but, um, you know, hoping for those few, uh, you know, those bigger ones that, that, you know, they find a way to, to put on something. Um, Tammy, all the stuff you said about knots, sounds, I hope, I'm hoping they do something, even if it's just they open up the park and make it a little scary and we can walk around the whole park, um, you know, and eat food and, and look at decorations i'd be fine with that um but i feel like this year we're gonna get um a lot of creativity i feel like this year will be one of the most creative years just as far as everyone kind of figuring out a way to do certain things and bring uh, a haunt to the people and and for that i i i'm just really appreciative for the people that are doing their best to bring us something because in this time i feel like uh, um for me personally I feel like this is something that like makes me feel positive uh, being able to do this with you guys to go out and, and meet people and, and, you know, to, to kind of be at one mind with a bunch of people that have the same, you know, interests <laughs> and bless you. <laughs> and, you know, I, I just think this is going to be a, a very creative year and I'm excited. I'm honestly excited to see uh, what gets done and uh, off to you, Sammy. Definitely. Right as my background changed. I like that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, I, I'm just having hope that not to something. Um, and I agree with Rob. Like, creativity is keen um, in this season. Um, and I know, based upon what we got to see uh, at Midsummer Stream's live stream, um, was that there, people are going to be doing their best to do creative things, whether that be their own little home haunts, their little yard displays, whatever it may be. People are finding ways. And um, you know, people are saying, okay, here's our issue. We can't scare you this way. So let me try to scare you another way. Um, and so like, you know, if we can't get in your face and yell at you, well, what can we do from six feet away? And how do we still make you have a good time? And I, I agree with Rob, even if they just open the park, put a couple of decorations up, let you eat a couple of nice food um, and just let you celebrate it. It doesn't have to be scary. It could be, um, you know, just to get in the spirit because I think we're going to keep reiterating this, um, and we want to thank uh, Manny from OADV. Is that it? OADV Media. Yeah, Media. And we're going to keep saying this. is You can take our events. You can take whatever you want from us. You can say we have to stay home, but you cannot take Halloween from us. And I think that's what we're going to be living by. Whether that means each of our live streams are going to be Zooming all of us together or whatever it may be, we just want to continue to make content for you guys um, because – you know, we do find that it's tough, and positivity is keen as well. I know that um, uh, our boy Scott over at SoCal Sport is always talking about positivity, and every, he ends every video with that. So I think that's what we just got to find, the, the glimmer of hope in everything. Right. Uh, in these rough times. And, uh, you know, you know, we could all become super excited for 2021. And I really feel like, you know, with everyone taking the season off in terms of all these scare actors at all these major events, they're going to be eager to scare and so that's going to make me really excited when we get to go to each of these opening weekends because I know that they're going to be giving not just 100% at that point. They're going to be giving 200% because they got to make up for a season of not scaring or also go to therapy. Because I know a lot of people, <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of these actors, for a lot of these uh, monsters and scare actors, it's their form of therapy every year. So let's just hope they don't go to therapy and they're going to bring their 
Best <laughs> game next year. I just hope that every haunt, when they do announce their comeback for next season, they, they kick it off with LL Cool J's, uh, I'm going to knock you out. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here <laughs> for years. Bro, I, I, I want them opening with, there ain't no grave. All right. Hold my body down, right? <laughs> Bring that coming. back. That's they're a strong coming. message right there. Um, if I can end it with this, we're going to do our best to give you the best, like I said, absolute content we can. Um, I can speak from behalf of all of us that when we say that Nights of Horror or anything YouTube related that we do is not a job for us. We work, we all work full time jobs, and this is literally something that that's our getaway. This is literally our hobby. This is our getaway from reality that we love doing for you guys. And we don't even care if we make money off it or anything. This is just something that we love doing since I started this channel. I can speak with everyone. We love going to these events. We love seeing you guys out there. We love talking with you guys, interacting with new uh, friends that we meet, whether they be scare actors, uh, the fans, the community, whatever it may be. Uh, we love doing this. Uh, we love bringing you guys the best content possible, and we're going to continue to do so until the day at least I die. And then if, if Sammy's still alive, he can take over the channel, and whatever he does with the channel, that's on him. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do. A, we're gonna make it a backflip and ASA, ASMR channel after he leaves. There we go. It's gonna be a horror themed ASMR channel. You heard it here first. No, but in all seriousness, we love each and every one of you. If you guys feel the need that you guys need to talk to us about, you know how you guys feel about the cancellation of knots, like Sammy said in the last video, um, all of our messaging boards are open across the board. Whether you're on Twitter, um, right here in the comments on Instagram. Um, you know, wherever you guys may be and you, you have us on social media, we are here to talk. Uh, we yeah. know this has been an extremely tough day for us. So uh, and this this last couple of months have been tough just to see these cancellation of events. Um, that's three of the, the big the big four that are pretty much canceled. And, and it's really sad. But you know what? It's it's it, in the end of the day, it's a good thing for everyone because we know in our heads that everyone will be safe. Everyone will be eager to come back 2021 to give it their all. And we can probably expect a bigger and better year next year for all these haunts. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're here for you guys if you need us. Um, and uh, we can't wait to see you guys back in the fog in 2021. We love each and every one of you, and we'll see you soon.